This is the pore refining solution from Clinique. It's the instant blur. And this product covers up pores if you have big pores. And it's really nice because it blurs them out and it gives you a really even texture. For my eye base, I'm going to use the Insurance Primer from Too Faced. I need a primer to make sure that my eyeshadow lasts the whole day. If you are into bold brows, then this eyebrow pencil from Innisfree is the one to have. It's really pigmented and it gives you really nice bold brows. I like to use a brow pencil to fill in my brows and then I use a cream based product to shape them. This is a brow pomade from Makeup Factory. I don't remember the exact name so I'll leave it down below. And I'm going to shape my brows with it. This is the cream eyeshadow in Ash from Bobbi Brown and I really like to apply them as an eye base. I also have the one in Bone and you probably have seen me use it before and this one is a new shade that I purchased and it's equally as good and I use it as a primer as mentioned before. For today's look I'm going to use the Lorac Pro Palette. The first eyeshadow is going to be Taupe which I'm going to apply on my crease. For the brow bones I'm going to use a matte color which is cream. The next eyeshadow is going to be black and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelids and smoke it out. The Lorac Pro palette is a great palette to have because it comes with shimmery and matte colors and they're all nice brown shades and it's a perfect palette for everyday use. For a nice blend I'm going to use espresso and apply it on my crease and blend it out. In the end, I'm going back in with top and blend out everything properly. Before I'm moving on with the foundation, I'm going to clean up the under eye area because there might be some eyeshadow fall over. I'm going to use two foundations, the All Nighter from Urban Decay and the Infallible from L'Oreal. The reason for it is that I purchased the all nighter online and unfortunately for me I got a shade way too light for me so I'm going to use the infallible which is way too dark for me and I'm going to mix them up to create the perfect shade. As you can see even if I mix them together with a tiny little bit of the infallible it's still way too light so I added a little bit more to make it even darker than my skin tone because that is actually better than skin tone. This is a trick that I've been using during the whole winter because my skin has been really dry so I like to apply a tiny little bit of the Tatcha Camellia oil on my beauty blender and then just run through my face with it and it gives me that really nice natural glow. For my concealer I'm going to use the Manhattan Wake Up Concealer which is quite a decent concealer for a drugstore brand. It's not as good as the Fit Me from Maybelline but it's almost as good as that one. Also from Manhattan is this Good To Glow highlighter which is a really nice cream highlighter. It's really pigmented and it gives you that really nice shine. I believe Manhattan is a German drugstore brand. I used to have quite a lot of products when I was younger, when I was still in school and didn't have much money to spend on makeup, so this was one of my go-to makeup brands. I'm going to set my makeup by applying some powder and this one is the loose powder from Creolan and I'm going to apply this with a powder quad. I think that's the name of it. I'm going to tell you a secret but keep it to yourself, okay? So I accidentally applied two different lashes. One is shorter than the other but I only noticed it once I already was finished with the whole look. So yeah, that's the secret. Anyways, in the meantime I applied a highlighter which is the nude on my inner corners and I'm just blending it out with a cute hip. Top again, I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line. Actually, I think I didn't show you before, but I also applied the black eyeshadow on the lash line. Mm -hmm. 
this is my current favorite eyeliner and it's from Deborah Milano it's the uh, what is it it's the waterproof soft precise long-lasting eye pencil in black and I'm going to apply this on my lash line the highlight that I'm applying here is from the collaboration with Kathleen lights and makeup geek and so far I've only used that one shade that I've been applying right now the other two I haven't touched them yet I still need to try them out but I really like the pigmentation of it the hula bronzer I haven't really gotten into it yet I don't know maybe I started wrong with it because the first time I applied it on my skin it I almost looked like an Oompa Loompa and it was horrible but probably because I took way too much and this product a little goes a long way it's the saying and as you can see it came out pretty decent right now and yeah I have to say that I might give it a try again because hey this contour looked pretty good This is a really old blush from Revlon that I own and it's Tawny Beach. Tawny Beach, I can say that. Anyways, this blush might be expired for years because I have it so long in my collection and I've been trying to use it up and I think it's a really pretty nice peach shade. The reason because it's so long in my collection is because I have so many blushes by now that it's impossible for me to even use up all products. This is my current favorite lip liner from Pupa Milano and it's the True Lips in number 06. The reason for it being my favorite is because it gives me really nice plump lips without looking fake and it's a really beautiful shade. This lipstick is from Hula Neon Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade DF if I'm not mistaken. This lipstick I got it in my lip monthly box, well like bag. If you're not familiar with lip monthly, I do have a unboxing video. It's an older one but I still leave it somewhere on the screen so you can check it out. Since the liquid lipstick has a matte finish, I apply a little bit of this YSL lip tint, which name I always forget, but I leave it down below. So this is all for my black smoky eye tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If the red button down below is still red, click on it and subscribe and be a part of this family. See you all next time. Bye bye. I just kissed the mic.